Hi, I'm Scott with Starkey Family Fixing and Rigging Up. And today, we're going to change an air dryer filter in the rain. It is kind of raining right now, and I'm expecting it to get a little bit worse, but that's the way it goes. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Now let's get this video rolling. Okay, here it is, the new filter that we're going to be using. And I, myself, you can use whatever brand you want. I use the Automan brand. This is the wrench most likely you're going to need to remove this filter right here. Now, this filter has, you're going to want to change this at least once a year, okay? Now, it's starting to get a little bit cooler out. We're getting towards the end of the year. That's the perfect time to change this before you get in the winter. Um, let's go ahead and uh, lock this wrench on here. And before you, before you uh, do anything, you're going to have to make sure you release all the air pressure out of all your air lines. So go ahead and drain your tanks because even five pounds of pressure will keep this on there to where you can't even get it off. So the way that this actually works is I'm going to wrap this around it. And then you see on these chain links here, this gets locked up inside and that tightens it okay the key is getting it on there first let's see if that's good enough nope I have to put it up Still too loose. Now, chances are you probably will end up uh, destroying this filter, like caving it in and getting it out. So just keep that in mind when you go to do actually do this. Okay. So I'll move that up. And this right here, you can actually get a little bit more of adjustment out. Okay. Now, this is going to take a lot of pressure, most likely, to get the turn. And that's just to actually break it free. Then after that, you can take your hand and unscrew it. Essentially, this is the same thing as an oil filter. Except when you go to take this off, it is going to be extremely heavy a filter okay now see this is what it looks like on the inside you see all this black junk and everything like that well this filter is full of that stuff and also you see all that black junk in there it looks like tobacco well we've got to clean that out also okay so i've got the air compressor turned on if you hear that in the background now normally i would say not to be doing stuff like this but we're going to try to get all this black stuff out of there okay so make sure you use bottled water that way it's clean just kind of rub that stuff around with your finger Now this right here, I've got the air pressure turned down because I don't want super great air pressure. But with this, I can get down in all those little ports here and blow that stuff out. See how good that works? So basically, you're just going to rub your finger around in there. And then I'm going to take a little brush and go around in it also. But this right here, you can see, you can see right in here, all this black stuff now. It's just coming right out of there. So basically, you'll just wipe down the bowl, just add some more water in there, and then blow it out. Okay, we're going to pour a little bit more water in here. Now, make sure you use an Oral-B toothbrush so you're not going to have any cavities in there. I'm just kidding. Just get a toothbrush. 
So basically what you want is you're going to take the toothbrush, scrub all these little cavities out as best that you can. And with the water, all that stuff is going to be floating in around here. Okay. You see all that little sediment floating around in there? All those little black particles? Now with this toothbrush, and you can see it on the toothbrush, I've been able to stir all this stuff up that normally you really don't want stirred up. So basically all I'm going to do is take this airline, now that it's all floating in the water, and I can just simply blow it out of there. This is probably one of the best ways I've found to actually clean this housing out. Okay, so here's what's going to happen to the water. Okay, so as you see, most all of that stuff is out of there. I'm going to scrub it down one more time, but uh, I just wanted to give you an idea of an easy way to actually scrub this housing out and blow all that crap out of there. But make sure you use bottled water because if you use well water, you're going to have sediments in there that could actually rust inside of this. Purified water is really good. Make sure you do not use mineral water because mineral water has minerals inside of it that will also rust. So do not use Pepsi, do not use Coke, do not use orange juice, don't use milk, don't use gasoline either, don't use carburetor cleaner, don't use anything but water. If you can't help yourself and you feel the need to use something besides water, then just screw a new filter on. Okay, so I'm just going through, scrubbing this filter out a little bit more. I know I'm not going to get everything out there, but I am going to get out as much as I possibly can. What that does is it will prolong the life of your airlines, your air filter, and just make everything work and flow a lot easier. Now this is where the filter is actually going to be setting at. So make sure you scrub it a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and blow this out real quick. Come on, you take the old O-ring off. Take your rag, make sure you wipe that off. Make sure there's no little black things floating around on there. Okay. Now, this is very important, okay? You just saw me take an O-ring off. This is a brand new filter. If you go to a parts store and it does not have a dust cap on it. Do not buy it. Absolutely do not buy it. Okay? So this has a dust cap on it. So we're going to pull that off. And right here is a brand new O-ring. Okay? So what we're going to do is, it doesn't matter what kind of oil you use. I just I just got some uh, random oil, just some gear oil. You're gonna put it on this O-ring. Make sure you slick the O-ring up with your fingers. You're gonna install it right back in the same place as where you took the old one off. And as you see, there's a very tight fit on there. Okay. Now this is important. Just like a normal oil filter, 
this o-ring needs lubricated now don't overdo it just take your finger go around it if you need to add a little bit more go ahead but the purpose is not to put oil inside the filter so just like an oil filter you would put oil in an air filter you do not just on the o-ring okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this filter we're going to set it down on top of this housing screw it on you might want to use a rag so you can get a grip on it and put it on pretty tight <clears throat> just remember you're going to use a special wrench to take this off okay so you might be asking me now what about all the extra if there's any excess water that you've never got out will that stay in the system will that ruin anything no this right here is the dryer system this actually dries out the air lines so what's going to happen is as you build up air pressure anything that uh, is inside the lines moisture wise will just blow straight out of it so it's not going to hurt one thing at all doing what i did now this is a very simple change things that could go wrong is if you don't have the, a, a good oil filter wrench or a chain ratchet like what i've got these right here i have had to before take a chisel and chisel the whole housing off of it the oil or the uh, air filter housing off before now the next thing is what if your truck doesn't look like this well then you're not going to take a filter like this some trucks have a large filter system that is extremely huge they do have a filter inside of them but i'm going to tell you right now you're only going to save about 25 to 30 dollars changing that filter out yourself and I'm going to tell you, it is an absolute nuisance to take those apart. Go ahead and eat the $300, $350 and buy yourself a brand new air dryer and put it on there. My last truck was a Freightliner Sentry and that it had one of those type of setups on it. I learned the hard way. I thought I was going to save money by changing the filter. It, it, it's absolutely not worth it. Absolutely not worth doing because what happens is when you take those units apart most generally they've already rusted and corroded inside of them so bad that you can't even clean them up they're most of the time they're destroyed anyways so keep that in mind if you have a different setup just go ahead and buy the whole air dryer system on these ones here you don't have to buy the whole system you just replaced the filter these are a lot better set up I'm Scott with Starkey Family, fixing and rigging up. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope you are going to do this job yourself. I hope you're going to save yourself a lot of money. And not take your truck to a dealership or some other garage to rip you off. So, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Check out my other videos that will actually help save you money. Uh, maybe you can learn something off of them. Watch them repeatedly if you need to. Go ahead. Now, I also have a gaming channel. It's called Starkey Family Gaming and Fun. Go ahead and check that out if you like video games. Have a good one. Thank you.